Welcome again. We start a new lecture, lecture number 28 in physical media course. So, we will just uh, do a brief recap of previous lecture. So, in the previous lecture, we did, uh, we studied the microstructure evolution. In uh, eutectoid steel, where we saw that you know you the microstructure consists of uh, perlitic colonies, and uh, this perlite is basically a mixture of ferrite and cementite. So, next we will take up the microstructure evolution in hyper and hypo and hyper eutectoid steel. So, we will first look at hypo eutectoid steel. Now, hypo eutectoid steel is the one which has carbon less than 0 0.8 percent. Okay. So, if I draw that part of phase diagram here, I will not draw a complete part of the phase diagram. So, you have this eutectoid temperature. goes all the way to, so this is percentage carbon, this is temperature, this is 727 degree centigrade and somewhere here you have 0.8 percent. So, this is gamma phase field and this is 910 degree centigrade and alpha gamma plus alpha and alpha plus so, you can say alpha per, per light okay. and here you are going to have F E 3 C plus gamma and this is going to be F E 3 C plus per light. So, when you have alloy composition of uh, let us say this composition C 1. So, at this point, point 1 you will have 100 percent austenite so this is gamma austenite Now, when you come to point number, when you come to this uh, boundary between the uh, austenite and ferrite, at this point, uh, so which is point 2, you have nucleation formation of tiny crystals of alpha. And these tiny crystals of alpha, they form at the grain boundaries of uh, gamma. So, this is tiny crystals of alpha forming at the grain boundaries of gamma. So, this is alpha and this is what is gamma okay. and the phase fractions and uh, compositions can be determined using pi, uh, tie line. So, now as you um, as you get down to somewhere here point 3, then these alpha grains they grow bigger okay so the alpha would have grown to bigger sizes so this is ferrite grains And as you come down to this temperature, you will have left some austenite. So, you will have this as austenite and this as alpha, which is pro eutectoid 
alpha. Now, when you come to this point, which is point 4, the alpha in there the alpha in there uh, the gamma in there it on gamma austenite changes to perlite. So, what you will have here is you will have these uh, ferrite crystals which were grown like this. So, these are these are ferrites. and the remaining part will convert into perlite. So, we will have these perlite lathes, lamellas all over the place. So, you will have this as ferrite pro eutectoid alpha and this will be your perlite. So, hyper hypo eutectoid steel will show you a microstructure which consists of pro eutectoid ferrite and perlite and if you cool it down to room temperature nothing much is going to change because the solid solubility as we know at this point is 0 0.025 percent, this is 0.8 percent and at this point it is 0 0.008 percent. So, it is not going to change much. So, as a result the phase fractions and compositions remain fairly uh, similar. And if you want to look at the real microstructure, the real microstructure looks something like this. This is the real microstructure. So, in the real microstructure, you have these perlite colonies. So, this is this is what is uh, let me just use the pen. So, you have this as a, a perlite colony. And these are the, uh, you know, cementite. Some cementite that is formed, and, uh, uh, and whatever. Mostly, you can have a lot of ferrite in here. So this is also some perlite. You can see the lamellar shapes, and rest all will be ferrite. Okay. So the larger phase fraction is going to be ferrite, and the smaller phase fraction is going to be uh, perlite colony. So this is a microstructure of. Uh, it is very fine microstructure at the scale of 10 micron. If you look at uh, a bigger microstructure, you will see a lot of ferrite in there. So, this is how the microstructure in uh, hyper eutectoid steel evolves. And again, you can calculate the you can calculate the phase fractions uh, by drawing the tie lines. So, you can draw the tie line at this point, you can draw the tie line at this point you can draw the tie line at this point or if you go all the way up to here 6.67 you can draw the tie line. So, if you consider point A, C and uh, uh, O then you will calculate the fractions of uh, alpha F E and cementite, but if you consider the uh, points A, O and D then you will calculate the percentage of pro eutectoid ferrite and perlite. So, this is what we did in um, uh, eutecto in the eutectic phase diagram earlier. So, now let us look at the microstructure evolution in um, in hyper eutectoid steel. So, again we will follow the phase diagram which is shown here. So, we take so this is let us say C 2. So, you have point 1 point 2, point 3 and point 4. Okay. So, at point 1 you are going to have microstructure which is 100 percent gamma And point 2 is going to be a nucleation of cementite at the gamma grain boundaries. So, 
So, you are going to have cementide forming here and cementide is smaller in amounts as a result it does not uh, increase a lot of in amount and as you go to point 3. So, if I again draw point 3 this cementite is going to go further. So, you are going to have larger network of cementite at the grain boundaries and what we are going to have here is basically a mixture of ferrite and cementite when we go to point 4, when we have cooled below eutectoid, we are going to have this perlite all over the place. This is going to be a microstructure in um, schematic microstructure in a hyper eutectoid steel, whose uh, which is going to be something like that. So you're going to have these uh, cementite plates, which are going to be at the grain boundaries, and other regions are perlite. So this is how a hyper eutectoid steel is going to look like. All right, so now we move to. Uh, so this is what is. Uh, let me just now come to summary of this point. Uh, so in the iron carbon diagram, for carbon less than two percent, we define a steel. Alloys are defined as steel, and carbon between less than 0.8 percent are hypo eutectoid steel, carbon nearly 0.8 percent is uh, eutectoid steel and carbon more than 0.8 percent is hyper eutectoid okay. and uh, This is how. Um, so let me just show you. Uh, uh, now let's go back to what we call as, uh, and these have different microstructures. Hypoeutectoid steel will have 100 percent perlitic microstructure. Hypoeutectoid steel will have alpha Fe, which is proeutectoid Fe plus perlite. The phase fractions will depend upon the carbon content, and eutectoid steel will have uh, cementite with perlite and perlite as we know is not a separate phase, it is a mixture of alpha F e plus F e 3 C with lamellar morphology. So, this is what is there about the iron carbon uh, system. Let me now show you a picture of. So this is what is um, this is what we did. So we have this uh, phase diagram where um, we have uh, a eutectic phase diagram. So this we have discussed anyway. So let's not worry about this. So this is a hypoeutectoid steel on the left. You can see that these are alpha Fe grains, and this is what is perlite. This is a completely perlitic microstructure, 100 percent perlite, and this is what is hyper eutectoid steel. This is Fe3C, and this is what is perlite. Okay. So now let's discuss uh, what we uh, look at the other part of the phase diagram of iron and steel iron and carbon that is the 
So, now let us look at F e carbon part of the phase diagram where carbon is more than 2 percent and this is called as these alloys are called as cast irons. So, now again let me draw the phase diagram of uh, that particular part. So, you have okay. So, I am not going to draw the complete phase diagram. So, this is 6.67, this is 4.2, this is 0 0.8, this is 2.1, this is liquid, this is liquid plus gamma, this is liquid plus Fe 3 C, this is gamma plus Fe 3 C and this is gamma, this is F alpha plus Fe 3 C, alpha plus gamma and this is alpha plus Fe 3 C this is where we have alpha. So, this is the temperature of 727 degree centigrade and this is the temperature of 1247 degree centigrade. So, let us say this is zone 1, this is zone 2 and this is zone 3 as far as temp so temperatures above than this is zone 1, between these two is zone 2 and then zone 3 from eutectoid to room temperature. So, Cast irons are the alloys as I said is are the alloys which, which contain carbon content more than 2 percent and uh, uh, there are uh, there are various phases in this part of the. So, we are basically going to consider the part of the phase diagram which is beyond this point. So, this is where we are going to consider now cast iron. There are various types of cast irons, uh, there is something called as white cast iron. Then we have uh, grey cast iron, then we have malleable cast iron, and then we have nodular cast iron. There are some other cast irons as well, but these are the most uh, commonly known uh, cast irons that we have in the literature that we have in practice. So, now let us so, cast irons are generally commercially useful cast irons are those which contain carbon between 2.5 to 4 point I do not know 5 percent or so roughly between 2.5 to 4, 4.5 percent. So, let us begin with uh, white cast iron. Now, white cast iron as the name itself suggests it is basically appearance is white. So, it is a whitish looking appearance and basically all the white cast irons are hypor hypo eutectic alloys. So, which have carbon typically less than um, 4 percent generally speaking. And uh, the way this uh, microstructure is produced is, so if you if you look at the part of the phase diagram where we do this is the eutectic point and then you have the eutectoid point. So, let me say this is what this was 2 percent. So, this is what we are considering this is zone 1 this is zone 2 and this is zone 3. So, this is 727, this is 1247. So, and this is 4.2 percent. So, you start from this particular, so this is x naught. Okay. So, you start from this point obviously, you have 100 percent liquid, then you get into this regime you have gamma plus liquid and then you come to this regime in which whatever remaining liquid is there that converts into eutectic. So, what you will are you, you will be left with is alpha plus eutectic 
and this eutectic mixture is of al, uh, gamma and Fe 3 C and this eutectic mixture is called as in cast iron gamma plus Fe 3 C is called as lead burite. Okay. And so basically how you produce a white cast iron is you are in zone 1 in gamma plus liquid then you fast cool and you reach zone 2 what you achieve is gamma plus Fe 3 C or you can say gamma plus lead right and then you fast cool it and in the third region you produce gamma plus uh, sorry Fe 3 uh, so the gamma will convert so this gamma will convert into perlite plus Fe 3 C and you can see that and as you cool down the solid solubility of um, solid solubility of carbon in iron decreases along this line. So, more and more carbon comes out of uh, gamma. So, at this point you will have gamma of composition this and Fe 3 C of composition this. So, Fe 3 C composition uh, fraction will increase a little bit as you cool it down and when you come to zone 3 you cool it fast you form the remain the gamma converts into perlite and whatever pro-eutectic pro cementite was present. So, this was pro-eutectic cementite and perlite. Now, this is basically a microstructure which consists of uh, dendrites of uh, uh, transformed austenite which is converted into perlite plus uh, Fe 3 C. Uh, so, basically uh, uh, this cast iron consists of perlite with cementite fairly similar to hyper eutectoid steel, but uh, different in carbon content. Now, this is why it is called as wh white cast iron and uh, so in this generally you will so what you will have is here you will have a microstructure which will consist of these uh, uh, colonies of perlite So, you will have these colonies of perlite So, this is perlite and what you are going to ha have here is basically dendrites of Fe 3 C. So, this is both mostly be present in dendritic form. So, white cast iron formed as a result. So, this is generally white and this is generally dark and that is why it is called as a white cast iron because the matrix is predominantly white. So, essentially it is prepared by fast cooling of gamma plus uh, lead be right from eutectic region to eutectoid region. Um, so, essentially the I uh, will show you the micrograph. A micrograph of white cast iron is something like this. So, this is as cast white cast iron you can see the white phase here is cementite and the gray phase is the perlitic colonies. So, this is what is a, a white cast iron microstructure. Now, the second important cast iron is uh, gray cast iron and the gray cast iron is one of the most widely used. Uh, so, one thing I forgot to tell you is that white cast iron that we have is extremely hard and brittle. So, it does not have too many applications, but it is found in for example, ball mill liners, nozzles etcetera. 
grey cast iron. So, now come to let us come to grey cast iron, grey cast iron is basically again hypo eutectic alloys with carbon between 2.5 to 4 percent and what you do in this cast iron is you start from liquid state, then you go to liquid plus primary austenite and this then so th this is as you can as you enter zone 1 and then you enter zone 2 which in in this case the you form gamma plus lead a burite so you have primary gamma plus the eutectic mixture this is in zone 2 and depending upon how you cool it now because as i said earlier cementite is a is a metastable phase and at high carbon concentration if slowly cooled fe3c will convert to fe plus c 3 fe plus c and this carbon is basically graphite this is the stable form so what happens here is if i slow cool it so let's say this is slow cool okay slow cool is you have gamma plus liquid in zone 1 and then you come to uh, zone 2 as you cool it slow cool it and the li this liquid converts to um, essentially um, you will have um, transforming to liquid will transform to gamma plus. So, gamma plus uh, it will form the eutectic and this eutectic is a mixture of gamma plus Fe 3 C. Fe 3 C if you cool it slowly will decompose into graphite. So, you will have gamma plus graphite. So, this is graphite and these are typically in the flaky form we call it G F. So, graphite is flake flaky okay and then when you so this is in zone 2 and when you further cool it down to uh, zone 3 which is uh, the below the eutectoid temperature the gamma converts into alpha plus fe 3 c but since fe 3 c is unstable you have a mixture of alpha plus g f so what you form basically is basically a uh, cast iron which is a ferritic cast iron ferritic gray cast iron ferritic grey cast iron and when you fast cool it as I will show you in the next lecture you will end up with uh, what we call as um, perlytic cast iron because there is not sufficient time for cementite to uh, decompose completely into uh, graphite. So, this is what we have learnt in today's lecture we have looked at the microstructure evolution in hyper and hypo eutectoid steels which have a microstructure with pro eutectoid um, ferrite and cementite with colonies of uh, perlite depending upon the composition and then we moved on to uh, the phase diagram of cast iron and how the microstructure evolves in uh, cast iron of various types. So, we will further continue this in the next lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.